opposite of fun. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I apologize. I did not mean to blow your blow your brains away. Are you to be hearing me? Yep, I got you. Okay. Hey, you know what would be cool? We should have uh we should we should uh put the Jean Pierre uh the tutu maker. We should put his voicemail on this episode. That guy's an asshole. That guy is an asshole. I'll agree with that. Um all right, you ready to start the show? I was born ready. All right, watch out now. Welcome to the Two Guys One Podcast. It's our comedy podcast. It's about boring old white men. Look, you can justify all you want to. It doesn't make it less dumb. Welcome to the Two Guys One Podcast, the Sodom and Gomorrah yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah. Whose story are you telling here? I'm one guy. I like it already. <laughs> and I'm the other. I was thinking about that dude the other day. Welcome to the Two Guys One Podcast. Oh yeah, there's a lot of editing you gotta do. Two Guys One Podcast. Throw you a little free funny. Welcome to the Two Guys One Podcast. I lose more and more respect for you every time we do this show. <laughs> Welcome to Two Guys One Podcast, and this is the podcast. You know, you know what's weird? What's that? Uh, I get to I get to actively play DJ now. See, this this is why I love technology. You want to know what's weird? What? Is that you know I hate music underlays, and you're letting this still play. I'm I always let it play a little bit. Like I listen to the show. I listen every single episode. I live. You know that's the problem. You just sit in the room, and then you and then it's a thing that didn't exist anymore for you. How are you, sir? Confused. Confused. I thought we were going to record the other show first. Oh, the 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 the, the pod on the pod. Yeah, that was the plan. Uh, well, it was originally, but then your timing changed, and so the plan changed. All right, we'll ramble. I was in a I was in a different sort of mood. Uh, you should, if you love podcasts, though, you should go check out podonpod.com. We we review great podcasts for you every week. It's a really cool show. Uh, these two wonderful uh, dudes that I know, very intelligent, handsome. I've heard they're wonderful lovers. I don't know that firsthand. But anyway, they they review these shows weekly for you, podonpod.com. Go check that out. Um, you want to go to the rundown, sir? Always a good place to start. <laughs> All right, so this is this is more complicated because now I have to do a couple of things, and now I actively have to do a thing on the show. This makes it more much more difficult for me. But later, I'll have to do less editing. That's the hope here. We're recording this on a Saturday afternoon, and in the past, we've done shows Saturday afternoon or Saturday evening even, and then I've raced home and I've spent. Ooh, there was a whistle in between my two fees. I've raced home and spent you know an hour and a half editing the damn thing. I don't want to do that today. I want this to be. I want this to be a little simpler for myself. So. Uh, that's why we're doing. I'm using Boss Jock Studio Pro. I'll uh, give a little hat tip there. It's an iPad app. Rock my jock. Yeah, rock my jock indeed. So here's here's what we have on today's show. We've got a word of the day, of course, as we continue 1920 slang. We're bringing that back. We've also got uh, listener mail. Best segment. That segment. Yeah. What did, what did I say? Word of the day. Yeah, word of the day. It's best segment. Oh, the best segment. I thought you yeah. said that seg that segment. No, that's the best segment. Okay. There you go. Your inflection made me imagine a conversation that what that didn't happen. A listener mail. We're going to do a little listener mail. That's the best segment. Okay, then. Do you think all of them are the best segment? Is that what I'm hearing here? Well, yeah, but now you cut the bit short, asshole. Way to be a partner. <laughs> oh, my bad. All right, then. <laughs> um, we, we As part of uh, listener mail, we got a great... Uh, article and we got an if you could that's my least favorite part <laughs> all right then <laughs> and then we've also got a uh, a word from bob ross all of that in this the yeah, 103rd that, I'm just episode gonna skip through that last one too all just right. fast forward you're, you're just gonna skip through word from bob ross yeah fuck it. <laughs> all right then uh hey i've already got your download i don't care if you listen or not <laughs> episode 103 of Two Guys One Pod. Check us out every week at twoguysonepod.com. You can also find us on YouTube. You can find us on uh, iTunes. You can find us on Stitcher. You can find us in pretty much any podcasting app. And if you've got a way to listen to podcasts, but you can't find Two Guys One Pod there, 
give us a holler and let us know what it is, and I'll see if I can't make that happen. Two guys, one pod at me.com. But if they're listening, then they've probably already solved that problem. Well, no, so. yeah, of course. Yes, obviously. But but I'm saying if they're having to forego their preferred method of podcast listening because they love my show, our show, so much, then that's a bad thing. And I will try to help them by just putting our podcast where they like to listen to podcasts. I want to put it where they want it, other guy. I want to put it where they need it. <laughs> and that's in their ear. All right. Uh, let's go to the word of the day. What the? Is it a phrase or a word this time? Because the phrases are much, much harder. Uh, let's go to word of the day. Technology, isn't it great? Seriously, I don't understand what happened. What happened different here that... Oh, God damn it. (laughs) (laughs) It's not that loud. Well, this is what happens when you listen to headphones. Is yours like... Maybe yours is way louder than mine. I don't... I don't know. This is what I understand. We've been doing the show one way for 102 episodes. Two fucking years we've been doing this show one way. Why you want to dick around with it? You you don't you think the dude who was real good abides. The dude All right. abides. I'm just saying once upon a time people rode horses. Okay. And then someone discovered or invented the automobile. Okay. And there were people that said, "Who would want this thing? It's noisy and and uh you well, know, this is a completely different issue. Uncontrollable. This is just and- you getting above your station. No, it's me trying to cut my. It's my. It's no, it's no, dude, the present reason, the Joel reason people, trying to take care of future Joel. The reason people don't ride horses is because someone smarter than the average bear came along and invented the automobile. People have been podcasting for years, and you think you're smarter than the average bear to change how we've been doing it for two. <laughs> I don't think I'm smarter than the average bear. Hey, I just boo-boo. <laughs> okay then. Here's the word, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to do it one more time. Uh, let's go to the word of the day. Oh, nailed it. <laughs> All right, now, so. <laughs> it only took 10 minutes of dicking around with it. Hey, you were the one with the dick out on the table, dicking. I was trying to do the thing. All right, here's the word of the day. What we're doing is we're bringing back 1920 slang. It's, it's a word or a phrase from the 1920s. Popular then. It's fallen out of the vernacular. We're trying to bring it back by using it here on the show. This week, by the way, we've gone a couple of weeks now where we talk a big game in the beginning of the show and we forget to mention the word of the day as the episode goes on. Let's try not to do that today. Half seas over. Half seas over? Half Dash seas as in the as in the ocean, over half seas mm. over. You're about to throw up. I'm half seas over. Uh, but yeah, but what might be the cause of that sea nausea? Sickness. Well, no, a that's nice a little piece long of calico. Nose. Uh, shit faced. Half seas uh, over. Half seas like over. Three means, sheets to the wind. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're shit faced. Uh, that's a good one. I actually do like that one. All right. And you know what? It's polite. You can use that in mixed company. Yeah, Shit pass. faced is a little, you know, raw. All right. Uh, we'll try to use that sometime in this episode. Right now, let's go to listener mail. To mail! To mail is here! Ooh! <laughs> See, now you can time it live. I don't have to. Do you know how much? Do you know how much time I've spent over the? Let's talk about two years here. Let's talk about the, how much time I've spent the last two years trying to take the place where you say "ooh" and <laughs> make sure that it lines up just appropriately with Homer. <laughs> How much time? I mean, I've probably spent at least a combined hour. Yeah, I would think an hour, hour and 15 at least just doing that in the last two years. That's a lot of time. That's, a lot of, that's all I'm saying. And then that's today a good I nap. Today I don't have to because you were there to do it. That's performance art, my friend. We're going to argue about this for the whole show. So if you're listening, <laughs> we're sorry. It's the live show. <laughs> all right. Here's, here's listener mail. Uh, this comes from Eaglet Joe. All right. Let's hear it. She's dungeons. Been quiet for, oh, okay. Dungeons. Uh, dungeons, if you uh, don't recall, came from our recent discussion of uh, the Crescent City and New Orleans and your. Um, uh, the local and, yokel. Uh, Mrs. Other Guy's recent trip. Dungeons was the interesting establishment that you were um, pointed to. Yeah. 
Uh, do you recall the exact pitch that was made for Dungeons? Oh, yeah. I'll never forget it. All right. <laughs> to remind us. This place has everything. It's got kittens and chains, the wrong end of a knife fight, no dollar whores. I'm banned for life, but you guys will love it. <laughs> uh, so apparently Eaglet Joe has been to Dungeons before. That doesn't surprise me. Uh, she says, I worked there in college. No, that's not what she said. She says, Dungeons. I ended up there after being a quote-unquote wedding crasher for a rehearsal dinner. The groom's family loved me so much that they asked me to the wedding the next night having no clue where I came from. Dungeons wasn't really my scene, but I was a bottle of Jack too far in to give a shit. However, I had to wash the dress I wore there twice to get the smell out. Oh. I now want to now I wish I would have went. Beware, it's easy to get lost. <laughs> I wish I would have went now. Um, also, she wanted to applaud the making it hail joke. She thought that was pretty fun. We were talking about flicking quarters at the at the strippers. That's making it hail. Um, she says she agrees with you. She describes you as her foil, by the way. I agree with my foil about the Bourbon Street Walk and stopping at Lafitte's. I will suggest to folks that if you don't want to pay five dollars for a Bud Light, go upstairs. There are always specials or normal pricing. The Bulldog, the one in Mid City, doesn't get as crowded. Uh, and she's right. There's one, uh, it's in Mid City, but like I think of it as Uptown. I know that's not where it is, but I think of it as Uptown because you go up Canal Street and then boom, there's well, the Bulldog. Well, because Uptown's not even Uptown, it's just Upriver. Right, exactly. So, but anyway, if you, if you, go, to, uh, if you go to Mid City, there's a, a Bulldog there. It doesn't get nearly as crowded as the one down on Magazine, which makes it more comfortable. But if you want to see and be seen, then the Magazine location is where to be. Her favorite all-time location of the Bulldog, though, is the one in Jackson, Mississippi. I didn't even know there was one. Did you? That's a franchise. Is it really? Apparently. All right. Look at that. Uh, that so that comes from Eaglet Joe. This comes from uh, Jana, uh, who sent us a lot of great stuff, but she's got this great link. I love how our listeners, that Matt Lynn, are always fucking women. Yeah, we got a lot of I women listeners. I think this is not a very woman-friendly show. Well, occasionally, I think we walk on the line of being unfriendly to our female listeners. That is, that's a true statement. We know that in our heart, we love them, and I think they do. Um, so this this came from Jana. She sent me this article from BuzzFeed, and I had to share this with you and get your comment on it. Asymmetric man thongs are the most insane thing a man can wear this summer. Have you seen these? The it's I'm I'm trying to think of what the uh, the actual yeah it was on at midnight. The C shape G strings. Yeah, yeah, I don't get it. I don't understand it. Oh God, I'm gonna What's put this point? link on What's our Facebook point? page. I mean, that's my question. Like, in what scenario is it acceptable for you to be walking with that little amount of clothes on, and yet it's more preferable for you to have your nuts and penis covered than for them to be out and available? Well, because here's the here's what we need to take from this. <laughs> you ready for this new product we're about to make? All right. We're gonna ba- make the uh, the doll nut cup. The doll nut cup? Yeah, yeah. So you know, like if you have like a Ken doll and you take all his clothes off, he's got no junk. Yes. <laughs> right. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a cup that suctions your junk and and uh, and everything like you are a Ken doll. It'll be flesh colored. It is right up there. I don't. I so, don't like, so you look like a fucking Ken doll walking around. What? I mean, I'm. I, I, I've seen the internet, so I know that there are people that would buy such a thing. Fuck yeah, there'd be people that would buy that. My, but I, I wouldn't want to be involved in that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't want that. Look. I, no, I, matter, no matter how lucrative, yeah. you don't want your name I think, on it. I think what we do in life echoes in eternity. <laughs> I, I come from the gladiator school of of the afterlife, and I would say that I don't want to be involved in any of that. <laughs> I don't want my name to be on that in, in eternity. It's just a pouch. Here's the interesting thing. I had seen the male version. Tell. I had seen the male version, which was sent to me by Jan. Is there a female version? There is, in fact, a female version. It's also called the C-string. And BuzzFeed's article about it says the C-string makes the average thong look like granny panties. Honeybun sent me this, actually, this week. I'm going to show you a picture of this because it's, it's pretty fucking impressive. Uh, imagine a magical maxi pad. It that's stays in what place. The, that's kind of what the uh, guy version yeah, for kinda, the doll thing is. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, it looks like. 
like a um, make it look all plastic and shiny because you're going to be all oiled up on the beach. Looks like a Pow. yeah, like a molded bandage almost yeah. for your penis and balls. Anyway, this is the female version. I'm going to post this also on our Facebook page. Something for the boys. No, fuck no. Especially not in black. Okay, there's going to be some <laughs> colors that you can't use. Because walking like that with black right there just looks like you have a gaping maw of darkness. <laughs> Scroll up. There's other colors. I think there's like some red and some blues and whatever. <laughs> no, no. Not, and, it, and that's exactly what it looks like. It looks like... Chicks are just walking around with their pads hanging out. <laughs> looks like it looks like the nothingness ate their vagina. <laughs> yeah, that's not good at all. <laughs> so effectively, it's like a padded coat hanger, <laughs> like bent, and you press that between your ass cheeks. That's how you hold the thing on. That's a this. It's a bad idea. <laughs> it's a terrible idea. It's a terrible, terrible idea. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not a I'm not a fan of that at all. I'm a fan of somebody. I'm a fan of the fact that someone made it. Okay, so imagine that, right? So, oh, 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 imagine the, what the girl has, not the guy version. Right. Imagine the girl version, but shiny plastic, like a Barbie doll. <laughs> and that's what I'm talking about. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> I look, here's the deal. The okay, first of all, there's the, the the one of the the picture did you see the one in pink? The picture of the woman in pink. First of all, they cut off her head, they focus on the Because that's on the, the boobs. only way it's sexy. Right. They focus on the boobs and, and the titties, which like brings in your attention. And even and, and there's a tremendous amount of naked woman there. See, I saw a belly button. But even there, it's not attractive. Here's the deal. Once you see the the magic maxi pad. If I see any woman's belly button, no matter how much or how little clothes she has on. The belly button gets it done. No. Oh. If it's an Audi, fuck you. I'm not even going to try. Why? Audi belly buttons creep me out, man. Well, that she didn't have an Audi. I know she didn't. I noticed. That's, I just was pointing out. All right, you were fixated on the belly. Yeah, you were like the boobs, and I was like, I'm. You were like, I just, I'm just now getting past the fact that she's an innie and she's acceptable. She has passed muster for my lusting. That is, (laughs) she's passed muster for my luster. (laughs) It's like literally my only requirement. (laughs) (laughs) Um, All right, thanks, Jana. And for people who think that that's shallow, fuck you. Everybody has little things like that. Everybody has. What gets it done and what doesn't get it done. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You're cool. Um, speaking of, I, now would be the appropriate place uh, for, for us to have old Jean-Pierre call in, I think. Bonjour, dickheads. This is Jean-Pierre de Tutu Mekia. I'm calling to tell you to go fuck yourself. I would have made it in time for your meaningless padiversary. But this voicemail service is as cumbersome and as ridiculous as your American football. Uh, Speaking of football, congratulations on getting rid of your only good soccer player your miserable country has ever produced. Without Landon Donovan, your pathetic Cowboys should be even easier to beat. Go! sounds your team should get used to hearing over and over as your enemies celebrate your terribleness. I do hope you get used to it. Au revoir, motherfuckers! All right, uh, one more uh, listener mail before we move on. This comes from Strong Arms in Nashville. Uh, he actually uh, visited us here locally. He was in for a wedding. I got to hang out with him a little a while. Dude. The other. Yeah, no, it's... it's I know, right. We were just talking about the... the a female listenership. This comes from a man. He says, I, I got to do something the other day that I've always wanted to do. Mow my yard with an old school reel mower. Fuck, you know, the, why like the would push. you want to do just, that? It's a nostalgia. Why? He imagines why? in a life, you know, in the world before my hey, youth. You know people I used to ride horses. Yeah, exactly. He says, let me tell you, dreams aren't always what they seem to be. No shit, that shit, it's miserable. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't even finish the whole front yard. It was like the first square of the yard that you would cut. That's what he cut with the push mower. And even, then he's like, I'm done with that shit. Even if you have the blades as sharp as they could possibly be, 
this is literally like you have to mow the lawn like every goddamn day with one of those because once it gets to a certain height, you're fucked. But if you think about it, like I like the world that is, of course, I don't know this world because I'm not old enough to, but the world in which those were in something more than once in a while usage. People had to be mowing their yard like fucking three times a week. With Absolutely. Those. Like that's what you did. You got off from work. You came home. Before work. You, you put on, or yeah, maybe first thing in the morning. You went out, you mowed the lawn, and then you went to work. I don't know. But but kind of though, the world of suburbia of that time that Hollywood presents us, it looks like that might be exactly what they would have, exactly what they did. They kept the lawn like manicured too. And they weren't paying a lawn service like we are now. Like they were just, Mowing it with a push reel. Here's the here's where this comes in as an if you could. This is so we got a great article there from Listener Mail. Now we're going to get an if you could from Listener Mail. If you could bring back one archaic device, one archaic invention, the manual roller style lawnmower. Here is the example. What would it be? And and in widespread use, like we would have to do it. Yes, like it, the only way to mow your yard is with this. It's the only way to mow your yard, or at least. The vastly commonly, like if you don't do it like that, you're a weirdo using one of those new crazy contraptions. Like think about, there, like there was a time when I would go back to four channels. Really, you get yeah. rid of all the yes. extended cable, satellite, yes. inst- internet yes. streaming channels, etc. There'd be four. There'd be four networks, and that's it. Yes. Wow, that high. Would, think about all the reality TV that you enjoy now that you that wouldn't exist. None of that shit would be on network TV if there were only four channels. There wouldn't be time for it. Okay. Hmm. I probably spend more time looking to see what's on than picking something and actually watching it. That's why I only watch DVR now, man. Uh, you know, well... Like if I don't have literally, I will go in and be like, "Hey, is anything new on the?" Because I don't, I can't remember what show comes on when. I don't have time for that. That's why it's DVR. Exactly. Oh my God. Yes. So whenever I get, whenever I get home, like, oh, anything good come on? No. All right. And then I go do something else. <laughs> and then you move the fuck on. Um, I don't. I, I, you know, I asked this question and I had, I think I had an idea when I wrote it down, and then I don't remember what it was. I do this a lot. I'd bring back flossing. <laughs> I I I think I think people still do that. No, I would bring back the um I'd bring back the like the sharpened wooden stick as a toothbrush. Uh, That's what I would bring back. Where we just kind of like scraped your teeth and we just go back right to that. No, I wouldn't bring that That's back. That's gross. Yeah, it's gross. It's all um Shakespeare and love style. I don't know. I'm going to start I remember back to why we don't do a whole lot of if you coulds. Why? Cuz I don't ever remember. Yeah, you bring it up and then it you kill the segment. Hey, hey, is it my fault that I came into the show today half seas over? I don't think it counts because it's not true. No, it's not true. Damn it. But you did use it and you used it correctly. Ha, 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 ha. It's a win. A win. A win. A win. Yeah. <laughs> You're such a fucking idiot. <laughs> Um, okay, so the, we last week we talked about uh, we talked about a strange sexual relationship. What was it uh, in episode one hundred and two? I can't remember. Somebody was fucking somebody. I don't know if we talked. Uh, there's been a lot of dog fucking going around. Oh, you're right. Uh, no, 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 no. I've just got several stories for for a couple of weeks in a row here. I've got some some interesting sexual stories. So just uh, know that this is going to be an ongoing theme. The first one though is coming to you right today. This came from Honeybun. Honey Bun sent me that. No, you sent me this. You sent me this earlier this week. This is also uh, from BuzzFeed. This is a BuzzFeed heavy show. Woman reveals she had a sexual relationship with a dolphin. Yeah, that's fucking weird. Did you read this article? No. I'll say this. Once you finish the article, I feel both better about the story and worse. Like... I don't know. It's weird. The whole like the, it's so weird. The idea is weird, and and then the, the ways in which it's different than what you imagine based on the headline is here's, also strange. Here's the thing: is I didn't read this article because I assumed it was very sensationalized in the headline. A little bit because it makes it sound like a woman's fucking a dolphin, 
Well, especially I don't, I don't think that's true. Did you did you read the uh, did you read the quote right under the headline, like the sub headline or whatever the the I teaser? Maybe it was very precious. It was very gentle. Margaret Howe says of the relationship she had with Peter, a bottlenose dolphin. Um, this is according to a new BBC documentary. It's called The Girl Who Talked to Dolphins. Neurologist John C. Lilly ran a NASA-funded experiment in the 60s to teach a six-year-old bottlenose dolphin, Peter, to speak English. First of all, wasn't the 60s awesome? They are like, hey, let's go teach a dolphin to talk. Yeah, why don't we do shit like that now? I don't know. We used to go to the moon, motherfucker. Like, we don't do nothing. You know what we're doing now? Not even building very many electric cars. Let's cut like, some budgets. <laughs> something like, and we're broke too. I don't understand it. The rent is too damn high. All right. His assistant was 23-year-old Margaret Howe, who lived in uh, St. Thomas in the U.S. Virgin Islands with Peter. They would eat, sleep, and play together in complete isolation. Peter liked to... Do you know how wrinkly she had to be? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He likes him a little, he likes him a little uh, pickled. <laughs> I guess. Peter liked to be with me, Hal said uh, in the documentary. Wink, wink. Yeah. Eventually, she said she began to have a sexual relationship with Peter because otherwise he wouldn't pay attention to her lessons. As for how that might work, the documentary tells that... <laughs> that <laughs> Indeed, how would relieve Peter's desires herself manually? He would rub himself up on my knee or my foot or my hand or whatever. How revealed, and I allowed that. I wasn't uncomfortable with that as long as it wasn't too rough. What the fuck? <laughs> I know, right? She's okay with just an animal fucking throwing its dick on her, and not just throwing its dick on her, but like, <laughs> like. Clearly, like, hey, you know what I want to do right now? I want to come <laughs> on your face, your neck, and your chest. Stand there for a minute. <laughs> like, yeah, she let this dolphin come on her. It would it would just become part of what was going on, like an itch. Just get rid of that, scratch it, and we'll be done and move on. If that was just everyone's attitude. When the lab closed after the experiment ended, Peter was shipped back to Miami, where his health quickly deteriorated. His veterinarian, Andy Williamson, said that he died of a broken heart. <laughs> or some, you know, some Severe backup. case of blue balls. I was going to say, just like, uh, I've heard of uh, a bottlenose dolphin. I've heard of a blue neck dolphin. This is a blue, blue ball, ball dolphin. dolphin. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, last week, we talked about... Um, what, what did we talk? Oh, we talked about the worst misspellings on Twitter. Uh, do you remember this? Yeah, but they weren't all misspellings, I don't think. Yes, no, that's true. Um, this week, I've got a, a, a similar idea for you. This is 15 grammatically correct sentences that you won't believe. Are, Lay it on me, slick. Are grammatically correct. All right. This comes from tickled.com. All the faith he had 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 no effect on his life. All the faith he had 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 no effect on his life. When you say it, it sounds much more. It sounds more better than it looks on on paper. There are four hads in a row. You're like, I don't know much about English. Oh, this may not work well for a podcast because you said it. I was like, no, that sounds right. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's H A D space H A D space H A D space H A D space in the middle of the sentence. It looks absurd. All the faith he had had. Had, had had an effect on him. No effect. No effect on on him. his life. Yeah. Uh, this is the second one. Wouldn't the sentence "I want to put a hyphen between the words fish and 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 chips in my fish and chips sign" have been clearer if quotation marks have been placed before fish and between fish and 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 chips as well as after chips. That's for goddamn ridiculous, <laughs> and there's no way that's right. There's commas. That's, no, that's just an asshole. That's just somebody being an asshole. Yeah, sure, it's grammatically correct. I could do a lot of fucking sentences grammatically correct if you let me use enough commas and fucking hyphens. It don't mean it's right. Here's one that you on the opposite end of the spectrum. The old man, the boats. <laughs> the old man, sir. The comma? boats. No. The old man. The old man, the boats. The boats. The old. Man the boats. Oh, the old man the boats. <laughs> the old people in our party are manning the boats for us right now. Man, that's confusing. Yeah, I know, right? 
Time flies like an arrow, but fruit flies like a banana. Yeah, I've heard that. I don't see what's wrong with that. I don't either. Uh, whether the weather be fine or whether the weather be not, whether the weather be cold or whether the weather be hot, we'll weather the weather, whatever the weather, whether we like it or not. Yeah, see, that's, again, that's just somebody being an asshole. <laughs> you have just begun reading the sentence you just finished the reading. No, wait. You have just begun reading the sentence you just finished reading. Yeah, see, these are people that are doing it on purpose. <laughs> All right. Well, how else would they do it? A sentence is a fairly intentional thing. No, like you, you're writing, you're like, man, how did this doesn't look right? Like intentional it, sentences right? might be the name of this episode, by the way. Is it? Is this? Is this? Do all these ands work? Like nobody wrote that fucking like the person who wrote that sentence did it to be a dick. The horse raced past the barn fell. Yeah, that's a good. That may not be on purpose. I sometimes read red as red. When it's supposed to be read as read. Uh, I never read red, red wrong. (laughs) But I often tend to have to think twice when I write read as read or read as read. Oh, like am I writing this correct? Am I right? Am I spelling this correctly for the one that I mean? Right. That's interesting. But you never read it incorrectly. Correct. Huh. Buffalo, 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 buffalo. See, again. (sighs) Buffalo, it's a noun, it's a city, it's a verb. I don't give a fuck. Meaning to intimidate. No, who cares? Who cares? This is ridiculous. (laughs) Um, This is why the internet, this is is why people hate the internet. I see, said the blind man as he picked up his hammer and saw. One morning I shot an elephant in my pajamas. How he got into my pajamas, I'll never know. That's that's not grammatically correct. It's just it's just a humorous turn of phrase. I never said I never said she stole my money. If you place an emphasis on one word at a time, it changes the meaning. I never said she stole my money. 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 For everybody who is listening right now, what you're hearing <laughs> is fucking exactly what you do in your first acting class. Really? You go through that sentence and do the thing? Not that particular sentence, oh. but you will take... Oh, God damn. I know you took the classes. <laughs> yeah, that was a long time ago. I've, I have four children. I don't remember... You take the line, you put the emphasis on a different word, you say it fucking 50 different ways to figure out what is the true meaning of the scene. Interesting. Interesting. I do remember that now that you say it. Yeah, yeah, now that you say that, I do remember that. Have you ever noticed that read rhymes with lead and red rhymes with lead? We just went over this. Also, red and lead don't rhyme. Neither do read and lead. I mean... Yeah, I guess you. I did them backwards the whole time. Hmm. Anyway, there you go. That was our 15. That was an interesting uh, diversion. That's such a polite way to put it. <laughs> a polite way to put, oh, that it stunk a little bit? Only two of those were saying. Three, maybe. I don't know. Um, We got to get to, uh, to our other uh, gig, though. Oh, right on. All right, so uh, we're going to uh, wrap things up here in just a minute with a word from Bob Ross. Go by twoguysonepod.com if you don't already. You can check us out there. You can find links to all of our social media pages. As I mentioned, we're going to have some links for you up on Facebook this week. So go to facebook.com slash twoguysonepod. Click the like button. Make sure that you see all of that stuff. Um, if you have not yet, we'd love a review in iTunes or Stitcher, whichever is your preferred way to listen to the show, or, or if it's not one of your preferred ways. Review you us mind, in Dogpile, please. There you go. Review us in whatever. <laughs> review us on LinkedIn. Give, give us, us a good. Give us an Alta Vista review. <laughs> <laughs> Or on Yelp. <laughs> the service was terrible. Hit us up on AOL. <laughs> the menu was unoriginal. <laughs> Two stars. <laughs> All right, anyway, do all of those things and then come back next week for more free funny right here at twoguysonepod.com. Um, Visit our Zanga page. <laughs> well, that's, not, that's not a thing anymore? That's not a thing. Zanga's not a thing. <laughs> that's how long you've been off the internet. <laughs> You're like, what do I live journal? <laughs> um, a word from Bob Ross, ladies and gentlemen. You can get more at bobrossquotes.com. Here we go. People look at me like I'm a little strange. 
when I go around talking to squirrels and rabbits and stuff. That's okay. That's just okay. I don't think that's why people look at that dude strange. <laughs> you think it might be the gigantic afro? It's probably the huge fucking fro on top of your head. Uh, or the maybe it's the like the ridiculously placid smile, the the Zen Buddhist slash um, lobotomized smile. I feel like he's the living, breathing equivalent of Xanax. <laughs> Happy little trees. Happy little trees. That's just all right. That's just all right. <laughs> all right. That's the show. I'm one guy. And I'm the other. And this has been the podcast. There ain't no cure. For a broken heart now, babe. For love that's gone wrong You know I tried them all Lord, they make you fly And fall But nothing can dry The tears Since you've been gone And there ain't no cure For a broken heart now, babe can be prescribed the bright colors that I want to Lord you know they're all the shades of gray and blue my heart and my soul jumped in cold
I have to get an accent first. I love this. I love this. What? I love I love the fact that I I love I love the fact that there is now a part of the show that I don't do. <laughs> or that you give me a task and like I like I That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to get into I'm taking it serious. Yeah, no, no, no. It's like Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this feels very um Okay, hold on, let's have uh, collaborative. Yeah, I need a little conversation to get into the uh <laughs> the accent. <laughs> All right. Okay, hold on, let me try to get in the <laughs> I'm Jean Pierre the Tutu Maker. I make the tutus. Okay. Here we go. I see now he just sounds Russian. That's all right. It doesn't no, but it's not supposed to be a good accent. Oh. <laughs> You think somebody told me that nobody's fooled? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no one is fooled, sir. <laughs> All right, do you want me to start over or just where I clipped it? Yeah, you can start it right there.